everyone, Jess here at Aviation Festival Asia. Today I'm joined with Aldrich Chow, General Manager Digital at Cathay Pacific Airways Limited. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. No problem. So in what ways has data science influenced the industry and how is Cathay Pacific leveraging this? Mm, data science has definitely changed the industry a lot, especially the aviation industry comes with a lot of uncertainty and volatility as well. So with the number of um, suppliers, stakeholders in the supply chain and also the frequent changes of our operation, I think that's where data science can come in to help us to predict better in terms of the future you know, um, situation and also optimize our planning for the operation as well. So in Cathay Pacific, we do focus a lot on using data science and also having our in-house data science team to create a machine learning model to help us to inform the business decision. So there are a number of different areas that we can use data science in, for example, optimizing the infantry levels of our onboard food and beverage you know, um, offering so as to um, reduce the meal wastage. And also we use that to um, inform our operation planning as well especially during the disruption season when we have to you know, move around a lot of aircraft, how do you make that best you know, optimal decision that requires a lot of work using the data as well. And it could also be applied in you know, um, increasing customer satisfaction, for example, in recommending some products and content that is more relevant to the customers as well. So definitely I see there is huge potential for us to adopt data science in the um, aviation industry. Amazing. And um, what do you think drives Cathay Pacific's digital transformation? Mm. That is a question that I keep asking myself um, every day as well. <laughs> so I'd like to um, say that, actually share that um, we do actually start everything with our customers before we think about the technology. Because digital transformation, a lot of times people think about it is the use of data and technology, but that should be just the means to the end. We should start with our customers. So here at Cathay, we always start by empathizing with our customers to understanding what is their core you know, pain points and also what are the opportunities for us to elevate experience for them before we even design and deliver the you know, um, IT and digital solution for them. So we are a big fan of design thinking. We use that a lot to guide our discussion and the thought process in the workshops. And the second element that will be important, as I mentioned earlier, also is related to data analytics. So we spend a lot of time to collect, to manage, and also to turn the data into actionable insights for different parts of the business. And there is another important component, which is about tech innovation. So um, after understanding the customer needs and also wants, we try to think about out there in all the um, different industries and also with the emerging technologies, how we can be marrying the technology with the needs of the customers when it comes to designing the digital product for them. And the last component that I think will be very critical for successful digital transformation will be the overall mindset and the culture and the process change within the organization as well. So we do a lot to um, upgrade and also upskill our workforce to make sure that we can improve the data literacy level of people across the organizations. People know about our overall vision and strategy and also what are the things that they can do to support the digital transformation. So I think these are the few key elements that are very important for us. Fantastic. And then just sort of looking forward, would you be able to outline some of the digital product in innovations with the most power to transform the industry? Mm. Um, the first one top of my mind will be around conversational AI yes. because like um, many of us in the airline and the travel industry, during the pandemic, I think there was already a huge volume of um, contact that our customers would have with us. They asked about the quarantine hotel arrangement, vaccination and all the travel restrictions. And now that we are entering into the um, post-COVID era, we also see that the volume of um, customer contact still increasing um, on a month-by-month -month basis. And it's not just about the volume of the you know, contact um, that is increasing, but also the complexity of it as well. At Cafe, for example, we are now a uh, premium travel lifestyle brand. So we have not just the you know, airline business, but also have a lot of other lifestyle offering as well. So the customers in the past might be calling us to change the flight tickets or change the flight itinerary. But now they might be calling us for a lot of lifestyle related inquiries as well on buying the red wines, buying you know, the concert tickets and some special curated experiences that we provide. So I think when it comes to solving that challenges, we use a lot of the um, conversational AI, working with a local startup called Fano Lab to develop our own chatbot framework so that we can increase the efficiency and also the quality of our um, conversation with the customers. Fantastic, so you, you pinpointed um, general, generative AI there. 
Could you name two or three other tech trends that you think will have the biggest impact on the industry in the coming few years? So far in this two days conference, I think everyone is talking about generative AI and also chat GPT as well. I think there is still a lot of questions around the accuracy and also the ethical side of um, using generative AI. And definitely those are the areas that we need to understand more. And at the same time, I think we can also start by experimenting with some low risk environment on how do we use it. For example, um, we can actually use um, generative AI to improve the productivity and helping people to find answer within the organization and preparing some draft you know, documents and resources for the human um, intelligence to add on top of it when it comes to you know, um, preparing the documents. And also we can provide a lot of support in the um, code writing and the development of the solution as well. So I think there are really lots of different ideas. It's really up to the industry players to think about what, which of them will be most relevant to the business organization. So um, generative AI definitely, I think, is one of the key trends to focus going forward. Fantastic. And finally, what do you enjoy about coming to Aviation Festival mm. Asia? Well, I've been speaking at this conference um, virtually in the past two years. So first thing is I'm really excited to be here in person to interact with um, all the industry players, meet the old friends and meet new ones in person. And I think that in-person interactions is just, um, you know, really precious and something that we've been all looking for. So I think that is really um, exciting. And also, I'm really glad to see across the industry there has been so much innovation and so much new changes happening during the past three years with the um, innovation on how do we better serve the customers, how do we better plan the operation, all surrounding the use of data and technology. I think that's really encouraging. So the biggest um, takeaway or the challenge for us is how do we keep up with the momentum with that accelerated change of um, technology in the past two years. And I think all the players in the industry are being sort of compelled to innovate, to think out of the box. So how do we keep up with that pace in order to keep meeting and exceeding customer expectations is going to be something that we really look forward to. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jessica.